I think tube mode feels a lot better to control in this version of the game. That plane doesn't feel as uh, stiff. It's not a paper pond. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it feels much nicer to control. Over here, we can go behind the waterfall. And every gamer knows to look behind the waterfall if they can. Because there's rewards back there. I think it's like defend plus P. Or def defend plus P or defend plus. Defend plus P again. Okay. I don't think there is anything on the left side of this area, but I will give it a quick check just in case. There's nothing here, I remember. I can't go through there. Alright, we'll, we'll head down. Go this way. I think we need to get the crank. Can we go under here? No. Just checking. I guess I'll do the uh, Yoshi strat here too. Nope. I don't know, you can even fall off on that side. That was close. I think I can make it. I think I need the running start from Yoshi though, because he does have this slow startup. There we go. Now we don't gotta worry about the bullet pills. You can actually see Mario cranking it, that's cool. on this side, right? Wait, what? There's coins back here? What the heck? Why, why were the coins there? That's an interesting little secret. Nothing over here, I don't think. Interesting that you can go here, I guess. Hopefully this part doesn't- I don't get stuck too badly on this part, because it's kind of random here. It's like the little waves can just spawn on you.
at least they make it a little bit more obvious where when they're gonna spawn because I don't think they had an indicator when they were spawning in the original. Oh, look at that, they did more little secrets. This is my hard mode play mo uh, playthrough of this game, but these background sections are. Uh, I kind of wish they did a little bit more with this. Feels like an interesting idea, but in my opinion, nothing really interesting comes out of them. But then again, a lot of the puzzles in this, in this game aren't really that difficult, so I guess it's. It's just the way this game operates, it's not too difficult on the puzzles. Perhaps I'm a bit biased because I have played this game several times. I feel with what the partners can do, I feel like it can come some really good puzzles. I just haven't seen any from this game. I guess at the end game there's some decent puzzles, but they're not, like, too complicated. This chapter went by the fastest. But like I did, uh. I was in. Wait, this. That guy's like a shop toad. That's interesting. I was gonna say, Ali completely blanked as soon as she started talking. <laughs> hey, the shop toad's there. I wonder if he's gonna give us something interesting or not. Oh, also, I was talking about how fast this chapter's going. They did make it a little bit more streamlined, so it's not. Makes sense why it went by faster. I think it would have been kind of cool if Crump here, or I don't know what his name is here. Uh, did he come up with a fake name? I think it would have been kind of cool if he was like helping us along the way. But four eyes. I never knew that he had a name here. Ship, you say? Oh. There just so happens to be a ship here. Also, I don't remember that being so high up in the original. But yeah, I think it would have been kind of cool to have that betrayal of, you know, Crump. I think more thematically. I mean, we obviously know who it is, but... Oh, you, you know what would have been even cooler? Because you know how x knots are always in, like, their getup and you never know what they look like on the inside? So what if Crump actually took off his gear and you get to see who he was, and so you wouldn't realize exactly that it was him. And then when he reveals that it's actually him, it'd be like a cool surprise. And then you'd feel a little bit sad that, you know, he betrayed you. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spitting out ideas about how they can make these things a little bit better. I do like this game, it's just 
some things I wish they could uh, make a little bit better. I don't know. I feel like when you like something a lot, you always looking for things to make it even better, to critique it a little bit, because you care a lot about that. Cortez looks really good, though. So. He's one of the few 3D bosses that you actually fight. The dragons and him, I think, are the only 3D fights. I guess, uh, Shadow Queen, too. You can't freeze, uh, Cortez. Let's see if we get the freeze on him. It looks funny when he's frozen. Because of how big his uh, sprite is. And actually, this phase isn't too bad because you can predict where he's going to attack. I think I'm just gonna go. Oh, I don't have power lift. Guess I'll just keep going for ice smash. I can't get him frozen. I know the stage hazards can freeze him. Oh, we got fog. Okay, so probably not the best idea, but I will do this because I just want to make sure that they didn't change this. So you can appeal to get rid of fog. So if, yeah, it is fog on your side. That sucks. Oh, cool, and what, our audience is passed out, so we can't get more SP. Oh, at least this turn is over, assuming I hit it. I wonder if they're gonna keep uh, the thing with Flurry on his last phase. This music is really good. This is a good uh, usage of uh, Bomb Squad here, because uh, that he goes down for how many hits he takes. And if you use Bomb Squad... I think I might have not done it right. They're doing it again? They're already passed out. Yeah, because he does a charge attack. Go for the ice smash, see if I can stun him or freeze him. Should be good if they go off. Guess I'll go off this turn then. I wonder if the music progresses during each phase. Or is the same one? Okay, um... I'll go for Thunder Rage. And then I'm gonna swap out Bobbery because I want to see if Flurry actually does the same thing in this game. Because those things come back up after a while. Am I... Why is my damage... Oh, because I have that. Wait. Oh, never mind. Uh, I'm going to wait because I just want to see Flurry. Gale Force actually puts those weapons away. Because they permanently put it away, so it's kind of weird. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot he bites. Or not bites, he just steals them. Nice. 
that swap to flurry. No. Do that gale force. And <laughs> now they're out of here. Oh, nice. He missed with the dizzy. This is a pretty easy fight. I think I remember him being much more difficult because of the, <laughs> the hard mode version of this guy is like so bad. Because in my hard mode, it like gives him extra HP, defense, and damage. But for whatever reason, it like multi so enemies get their own HP boost. I just want to make sure that the weapons don't come back. I'm just gonna check for this turn to see if they come back. Uh, but like. So it would multiply, I think, the... So it had two multiplications going on. The enemy's health multiplication and boss health multiplication. And so it multiplied those two together. And it gave him too much HP. It was crazy. So he would have like... I think it was like 200 or 300 health. But since he has three phases, he would have like, like 600 health or something like that. It was ridiculous. That was an easy chapter. I almost got a level up too. Oh, but this chapter isn't done yet. I forgot. Even though you get the crystal star, it's not over just yet. <laughs> it's stupid though. Serio. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I love the head turn there. That's funny. I wonder if they're going to make Sweet Feast better, or if it's still the same way it was in the original. Because I personally think Sweet Feast should be one uh, SP less, because I think it's five SP, and I think it should be four. They made this easier. I think it used to be a bunch of barrels before in the original. Oops. Uh, yeah, I don't need a heal. Because I got the end of chapter heal. I didn't know it was a thing, but apparently it's a thing. Because I didn't level up in that fight. What is this shop toad doing here? I want to say they're going to do something with him, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh. 
Okay. No, I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> no, I'm good. Why wasn't it Charlieton? I think it would have made sense if it was Charlieton. Yeah, it just feels so weird now that Charlieton only shows up in front of the Great Tree. It would have been kind of cool just to have him pop up in every chapter trying to sell you junk. Maybe sell you items you don't often see. Oh, also, uh, the wacka bumps. These things, there's only a limited amount you can get. I forget how many. See, it's weird that uh, they have that shop toad there. You can, you can go to the shop after they have this little dialogue here. So I don't know why they have him there. I mean, he does sell some items that you can't get in that shop, but... Are they going to have them on top of the sails? Because <laughs> they had x knots on the sails and it didn't make any sense. See, once again, it's like... He didn't really play that much of a role in this chapter, so like having this reveal doesn't really mean that much. I mean, maybe to the other characters because maybe they talk to him more, but we don't really get to s <laughs> interact with him much. Oh yeah, I gotta remember to, uh, if I can go to the shop to get rid of those coconuts. <laughs> Everybody freaking out. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense why they would be freaking out. They're being under siege. Do I need the whack a bump? I think I'll just store it for now. Are they gonna say anything? Got anything to say? Maybe he's gonna talk about the sweet feast, maybe? I don't know. 
Oh, more audience members, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's whenever you mess up any hammer action commands. We know that because it did it twice in our boss fight. And yeah, boos are kinda good, but it's a double-edged sword because being invisible is nice, but if they make the enemy invisible, then it sucks. Also, another thing it doesn't note here, but since bulky ball bombs are huge, they take up two audience member spots. So if you have a hundred audience members, then you only have 50 with uh, bulky ball bombs. So it ruins the amount of uh, SP you get. But bulky ball bombs are like one of the worst, in my opinion, to get. Because they lower the amount of SP you get, and uh, then they can just remove your audience as well, which even further decreases it. The only other worst one would probably be Dry Bones because they give a reduced amount anyways. Well, originally in the game they didn't give any SP to you, but I think they changed it so that they give you a very little amount, but not none anymore. <laughs> I really like how they show the uh, anger building up in him. if he ate it in the original, but oh, that's a nice touch that he eats it. I guess everybody got the memo to get on the ship. I guess uh, Flavio did say that he was going to try and get it. Okay, Cortez to let us use his ship. They do have those guys on the sails though, so they might have the X-Nuts on their sails as well. Yep, they do. <laughs> Why? I don't know. At least it looks like they're hanging on at least. That makes a little bit more sense. But why have them on the sails though? I guess on top of the sails? But hanging in front of it doesn't make any sense. And those guys on the sails have like an iron grip on that sail. This looks really weird with, with all those uh, uh, flames just being there. I'd rather them just be around the ship itself and not the, in front of that sail. I 
If I do get to freeze Crump, I wonder if it's going to show how he cheats in this. Because in the original, even if he had a status in him that, like, stunned him, he'll still act through stuff. Uh, there's not really a point to be attacking them because they're just going to come back, but I'll just get, get them out of the way. At least we got the fog. Oh, he broke out of it. Because <laughs> he still had another turn left, so. At least this way, he's not in. He's not being frozen. He just breaks out of it. That makes more sense. Wow, another Shine Sprite Bingo? Oh, thankfully we got that fog. We get some work. Uh, I think I'll swap to... Let's see, what items do I got? I don't really got any offensive items. Go to Vivian, see if we can get Fiery Jinx. I can do six. Oh, it does five. Oh, they don't do too much damage. cheats again. Even if you kill him, he'll just do this. And he actually heals back to full. It's good that you get rid of these guys, because they turn into a giant ball. That attacks both of us. But I think he just calls them in again. Oh no, he doesn't. There it is, yeah. Well, at least we got a bingo. Maybe I should have Mario in front of me. He has more defense. I think we'll be able to finish it with Vivian. There we go. Look at that.
Get the level up too. Ooh, <laughs> I like the fanfare there. This chapter wasn't too bad. Seeing the things that they changed with it, it wasn't all that bad. I think I'm going to end uh, my recording here. I'll see you guys next time.